<laughs> Hi friends, thanks for watching our video today. We're going to go back down to the wash and see what it looks like after the big uh, volume of water that came through yesterday. And we're going to look around and see if we can find a new campsite that might be just a little bit better. So come along and have some fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> here we are at the wash that was just absolutely raging yesterday. Today's the morning after, and it's nice and sunny. We are expecting more rain tonight and tomorrow. But uh, for right now, it's pretty, and it's about uh, 65 degrees, and the wash is dry. But it's pretty amazing the difference in uh, how dry it is compared to what it was yesterday. <laughs> Here's a little reminder of what this same spot looked like yesterday. It was a raging torrent. Just take a look at that. Totally, totally devoid of water. Probably muddy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out there and try to cross it. It's about uh, about 50 yards wide, and uh, that bush right there, I think, is the bush that had the big flow of water flowing up about three feet up onto it bent it over quite a bit it's still bent over a bit but uh, wow that's for a fella that was not raised in the desert and really doesn't know that much about the desert except for what I've learned while traveling here in the last few years this is just astonishing <laughs> and is a great illustration of why you never want to cross a wash in a rainstorm. The water can just come down quickly and lambaste you. <laughs> well, I've moved down the bank of this wash uh, about 100 yards or so, and just to get a little different perspective of it. So I'm a little bit higher up too, you can see, see the mountains over there, not sure what mountains they are, and, uh, panning to my right you can see out there, uh, looks like a little breakaway camp uh, just to the south of Slab City proper, Slab City is uh, more over this way, Slab City proper anyway. So if you can see the flagpoles out there in the distance, but that's over near the Millennium Falcon on the direction to the Millennium Falcon. Oh, there's the Millennium Falcon right there. Uh, go out this way, you can you can see a couple of painted tanks, and then. Uh, Kind of a looks like a schoolie out there, uh, a school bus yellow schoolie, and then just to the left of that, you can see a cross standing up in the air. That's the cross on the top of Salvation Mountain. So we'll get out and explore all those things here uh, one day soon. <laughs> well, Papa moved. Spent a couple hours moving from my last location into what I hope is a better location. And uh, let, me, uh, let me show you around it just a little bit. So uh, here's the Millennium Falcon and there's the Bandit enjoying some sunshine that we finally have here. Then uh, over here we've got uh, the Tracker. And look at this nice fire pit right here. Be able to have some nice fires there. Got the uh, 
the solar panels up and we got the camp carpet out a couple folding chairs that are nice we got a couple of uh, nice bushes nearby and we're out in the spot where where we can uh, kind of put up a psychological barrier here and let folks know that this uh, whole area here is considered taken uh, and reserved for Papa and the Bandit. <laughs> right out behind us here is the uh, the wash where all of the water was flowing real good and and then later it was all dry. Uh, and I don't think anybody will come back here and camp because this uh, land back here is sugar sand. Somebody goes back here and tries to camp, they're gonna they're gonna get stuck down in that sand pretty quick. So the back side of of uh, Papa's campsite is is uh, probably not likely to have any any campers or anybody obstructing the view. Oh, here's uh, something that's interesting too. The back side of this camper has these uh, empty green propane canisters that someone has dug holes and lined up as kind of another psychological barrier back here. It's kind of nice. So anyway, this is uh, looking west towards the uh, LA area and you can see the backside of the Millennium Falcon there. Got a nice little grove of, I don't know what these are, mesquite bushes or something. Maybe not mesquite, I'm not real sure. So, happy, uh, happy with this setup where I was. You can see the trailer right there. Where I was was about uh, 40 yards from that trailer. Nice fellow, Bud, that has that, and his wife, Sandy. They were the ones that sort of rescued me a little bit. I was, I was all set to drive out into that real sandy area out there, and he stopped me and asked me if it was my first time here and warned me off of that. So I parked for three, four days right there in front of him about 30 yards away. That was that was nice. And uh, we're still right here behind the Lowe's, they call it. You can see the flags flying over there, American and Canadian. And uh, supposed to be one of the safer spots in uh, all of Slab City right out here. So uh, hoping, that that, hoping that that's true. Got a nice area cordoned off here. Picked up all the trash, picked up all the big rocks, and used them as uh, barriers uh, for my campsite. My chair's out. Got my uh, little carpets there for uh, wiping my feet before I go in. Oh, and here's something, too. Right there underneath that little stack of rocks is a honey hole. I don't particularly think that I'll use it. I don't know, but uh, it's there if, in case I need it. <laughs> so, there's the view out the uh, dinette window. Nice, uh, nice view to keep an eye on the compound. And as you can see, I'm far enough away from everybody that I can have my privacy. And this is out the other side of the Millennium Falcon. This is uh, shooting out over the love seat and out into the desert. And uh, just beyond those first few uh, mesquite bushes, I guess I'll call them for lack of knowledge of anything else. <laughs> There's the drop-off that goes down about uh, 
30 or 40 feet down to the wash that was running so heavy yesterday. So uh, I'm far enough above the wash that I'm safe. I'm actually up on a little bit higher ground uh, for this area where people park. Uh, I'm on uh, solid, uh, sandy, rocky ground. Uh, it's not the sugar sand. And I uh, should be good here for a while. Yabba dabba, happy. <laughs> so it, uh, it looks like I'm going to stay here for a few weeks, I would guess, in uh, Slab City anyway. Look around and partake of uh, the venues and uh, the features. And I'm out here uh, kind of at a point of land where nobody drives by, nobody comes by, so it's nice and private and quiet. And a couple of, a couple of good neighbors nearby if uh, I need to yell out for any kind of attention or anything. So, so that's where we are for now. Yabba dabba doo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi friends, thanks for watching our video today. We had a good time looking at the wash and uh, finding a new camp for us to spend some time at. Looks like we're going to be staying for a week or two. So subscribe and click the bell and explore Slab City with us. <laughs>